back to our, our Falcon, Falcon show. show. I'm Caesar. And I'm Daisy. And please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Ready? Begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. The Mr. Riverdale competition has started. 11 senior guys are running by a button and they earn a point. The button gets you free admission into the pageant. Attention Falcons, the 2015 Mr. Riverdale pageant will be held on Friday, May 8th at 2.30. Admission is free if you purchase the button from the candidate or it's $2 at the door. Plus, the color dance will be held on May 8th as well from 8 p.m. to 11 p.m. outside in the main quad. It's $5 with ASB and $7 without. Plus, with a paid ticket, packets of color will be given to throw. Additional color will be given during the night. DJ Knickknack will be DJing the event. Get your extremely limited edition peace shirts in the student store. They won't last long and they're only $8. The Rubidoux Community Library Art Show will be held from May 13th to May 21st. What's up Rubidoux? Just want to let you know that it's mandatory for students to either place their skateboards in the skateboard racks or in the front office during the school day. Students are responsible for securing their skateboards in the skateboard racks. Students must bring their own locks for the skateboard racks, although there are locks available for purchase in the student store. Now, here are some steps on how to lock your skateboard. Step 1. Insert skateboard. Step 2. Lock Skateboard You have now successfully locked your skateboard. Any student that had PE first semester and not second semester, please come to the locker room and remove your items from the lockers ASAP. Anything left behind on May 29th will be donated to the needy. The talent show is here. Today is the last day for auditions. Come to room 1003, also known as the Jedi Temple. And now, quality time. Well, good morning, Rubido. It's good to see you. Now tell me, if I decide to procrastinate later, am I still procrastinating? This has been another installment of Quality Time. Freshman year, I never thought I'd get to where I was today. And just guard to me has been like somewhere where I get to express myself. And it was a chance to build a family with all the team members every year. It's an awesome feeling to know that you and another, like, a, a group of people are making something that can portray emotion and feeling that, you know, a lot of people don't really think about unless they see it. It really taught me how to be a leader. I was so scared at the beginning. I was like, what if I don't do it right or, like, things just don't go right? But I never thought I'd be able to take charge of a group, and this year was, like, one of the most amazing things that I'm glad I did. If you have the want to perform for people, make people smile, entertain people, or even just to get your own emotions out. I think that dancing is is a great way because once you start to feel the music, your, your emotions can just flow really easily. It's like silk, it's nice and smooth and you can be happy. I think if I wouldn't have joined Guard, like I wouldn't have had like all these friends. I think about like Isaac and Matthew and like 
like even the girls in guard like Andrea and Carolina. You create a family and friends and um, I guess it just like brought me out of my shell. Don't give up because there's, there's a lot that can happen that will shoot you down. You'll get hurt physically, emotionally, mentally, but when you power through it, you find out at the end that it was worth it. It's, it's a good feeling. Color Guard workshops are on Friday, May 1st from 3.45 to 6.30 p.m. and on Tuesday through Friday the following week at the same times. They have a showcase where the Color Guard will perform their 2015 show on Friday at 6 p.m. in the gym. Attention all students, do you like drawing or being creative? Do you want to see your art on a t-shirt? Do you want to make some money? Then the Spring Art T-Shirt Contest is for you. This is open to all students. For more information, look for this flyer, see an art teacher, or see Mr. Kendall in room 609 for more information. Entries are due May 15th. Hey Falcons, the RHS Senior vs. Staff Basketball Game will be held on Friday, May 15th in the gym at 3 p.m. Please come out and support the teachers and students as they play. The game is free as always and we would love to see you all there. Attention Falcons, Active, that's right, Active Ride Shop will be here next Wednesday during lunch selling socks for $7. For every pair of socks sold, RHS will receive $2. So come out and support your school and get some awesome socks. Welcome to Knee Slappers, the segment where we tell you jokes so corny, you wouldn't even tell your mother. How do you make an orange laugh? Tickle its navel. If any women are interested in a firefighting workshop, the Moreno Valley College is having a workshop on Saturday, May 2nd from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. at the Ben Clark Training Center, open to women ages 16 and older. However, if you're under 18, then you need a waiver signed by a parent or a guardian. Participants are recommended to wear comfortable clothing and athletic wear such as knee pads, helmet, and gloves. The activities will include classroom and hands-on activities such as dragging and pulling fire hoses, dragging a 150-pound mannequin, raising and lowering of ladders, and climbing stairs with weighted vest. Remember to RSVP and call 951-571-6197 or email fire at mvc.edu. Remember, the workshop is free. All students interested in playing football, please attend a meeting at the beginning of lunch in room 600 today. Also, the football parent meeting for interested parents and players for the 2015 season is on Tuesday the 5th at 7 p.m. in room 600. Good morning, Rubido. Welcome back to Sports Central, the segment that keeps you up to date with sports news, highlights, as well as student and coach interviews. Softball played against Vista Del Lago and lost 7-12. Boys tennis played against Vista Del Lago and won 11-7. Boys track played against Moreno Valley and lost 50-77. Boys track also played against Pacific and won 67-60. Girls track played against Moreno Valley and won 68-58. Girls track also played against Pacific and won 76 to 39. Following up with last week's interviews, here are interviews with Coach Torbert and Coach Galvin. Hello Rubido, I am Mr. Torbert, I am the softball coach. I am in my fifth year as the head varsity coach. So far this season, uh, we have done fairly well. We are 10 and 8, so we have a winning record and we are 7 and 2 in league play and we currently hold first place. Some of our goals is of course to actually have a banner in the gym. Uh, it's been since 2004 since Rubido has made it to the playoffs and we have never won a league title. So uh, goal number one would be to win the league, uh, get a name up on one of those banners and then of course to make the playoffs. I've had many of these players already for three and four years and their expectations are nothing less than winning a league title and getting to the playoffs. They've worked very hard over the years to get there. Uh, players that come to mind right now is uh, Claudia Navarro is coming off knee surgery, didn't get to participate at all last year and she's currently leading uh, our girls in batting average and she's very high up in uh, runs batted in. Miranda Jimenez leads the league in home runs. Uh, we also have four other seniors, uh, Nani, Calavajea, we have Alicia Montez, they've been in the program, this is their fourth year. 
We have Valerie Perdomo and Vanessa Flores, also a three-year veteran. I'd like to encourage uh, all girls, it's a little late to come out this year, but we start a summer program and we have a six-period advanced softball class. Uh, I would uh, ask you to come on out and try softball next spring. Uh, we'll participate all through the fall and generally have a good time. Uh, I'm uh, Joe Galvin, head coach of uh, Rubido Baseball. Well, I think we got a lot of young guys out here, a lot of freshmen and sophomores, and, and we're going to try to get them as much experience and get them uh, as much improvement as we can to the end of the year. Uh, Justin Lopez, a senior center fielder. We have Andres Valdez, a uh, senior pitcher. Uh, juniors, uh, Michael Ortega plays second base. Uh, Angel Chavez, a uh, starting pitcher. Um, Anthony Clark, also a third baseman. Well, currently we're in third place, and, it, and it's a pretty even league, and we're, we're battling everybody, and, and our goal is to make the playoffs. So uh, we got six games left, and uh, we're going to do the best I can to get in the playoffs. It's like all sports, uh, you know, do well in school, uh, see average. Uh, we also have six period advanced baseball that has uh, a lot of openings for next year. So anybody wants to, to get involved in baseball and, and wants to give it a try, uh, sign up for six period baseball, uh, see your counselor or see myself. That's it for this week, Rudo. See you next time. Girls basketball summer workouts will begin Monday, June 8th through July 2nd in the gym Monday through Thursday from 1 to 3.30 p.m. All girls interested in playing basketball next year need to attend. All girls are welcome new players as well as experienced players. All players must be cleared. If you have any questions, please see Coach Alazaba in room 101. This past Tuesday, Rubido High School's choir sang in the District Choir Festival. This brings the choir from Huba Valley, Patriot, and Rubido together each year to showcase each individual school's program as well as placing all three choirs together to sing several amazing songs. Overall, the night was a huge success with members from the community and various administrators such as the JVHS principal, Mr. West, our very own assistant principal, Mrs. Alvarez, and Mr. Wandry, and a very special appearance from our district superintendent, Mr. Dushan. This marked a momentous meeting and convergence of our three awesome high schools. If you happen to miss the show, you can eagerly wait its return next year. Hope to see you there. Next year, RHS will be offering a new and exciting program. The Medical Assistant Administrative Professional, or MAP program, is geared to prepare you for a career in the medical and health professions. In addition to a diploma, students who complete the MAP program will earn a state board approved certificate, making them eligible to begin their career right after high school. Similar programs at local colleges cost thousands of dollars, but the program at RHS is free. If you'd like more information, see Ms. Brill in the office. Hurry, space is limited. Pink on Parade will be hosting a breast cancer awareness walk Saturday, May 16th from 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. at Fairmont Park in downtown Riverside. This walk will be benefiting Riverside's Breast Cancer Resource Center. At 8 a.m., individuals and teams will check in, and at 9 o'clock, the walk will begin. Adults 17 or older cost $30 to get in. Youths 11 through 15 cost $10, and children 10 and under are free. And I'm Daisy. And welcome back to Tech Trends, a segment that keeps you up to date with the latest news on apps, games, software updates, and new technology on the market. First up, we have E24, food delivery, and takeout. Your Android can now feed you. It doesn't actually cook for you. We aren't trying to speed up the process of a robot takeover or anything. However, you won't have to either. Are you hangry? Know the signs. Uncontrollable yelling. Why aren't you egg rolls? Hallucination. Sushi. Pants discomfort. I hate you. Pants. Hangry. It can happen to anyone. Fortunately, there's E24, the app that tells hunger to shut up. Egg rolls. Thanks, Snoop. 
This is a great app for those of you that love to eat but hate communicating with people. You can order food delivery and pickup from over 20,000 restaurants in 15,000 cities. You can search from wherever you are located and eat 24 remembers your preferences, meaning it will save you time freeing up space for other productive things. Psych. Psych. E24 also offers money saving coupons. Some may say, isn't it just like Grubhub? And yes, yes it is. But stars don't lie, and E24 has 4.4 stars, and, and Grubhub has 4.3 stars. So, you decide. This app is available for the easy payment of absolutely nothing on both the Google Play Store and the App Store. Up next, we have AA. This is a single tap play game that makes you want to pull your hair out. In the sense that it is an infinite game that increases speed as you advance, yet there are technically no levels. This game has similar qualities to the game Snake on an old brick phone like Motorola. Android users, if you think you can handle the emotional stress that comes with playing, feel free to download this on the Google Play Store and Apple App Store. That's it for this week, Rubidol. That's Daisy. And that's Melissa. See you next time. Thank you very much for giving me these delicious walnuts. I like them very much. You are a nice person. I will be sure to come back tomorrow to get some more walnuts. You are my favorite person in the neighborhood.
that's it for this week, Ruben So high on a Falcon Amazing Weekend. I'm Daisy. And I'm Caesar, and you've just been fed. <laughs>